Without doubt, the gaming industry can be a very lucrative industry to be involved with. You can see the revenues associated with gaming year on year, which are increasing. And interestingly, it's about 50% of global game revenue is associated with mobile gaming. Why is 5G so important for mobile gaming? Well, what we need to do is consider some of the key attributes of 5G that are relevant to 5G based gaming. So the obvious one is the very high data throughput and low latency that 5G can potentially offer. We're talking about latency of potentially one millisecond, which maybe for a gamer, you, you don't need that kind of latency, but certainly latencies between say 10 and 50 milliseconds are very interesting for an online gamer. 5G supports multi-access edge computing where instead of having a super powerful end device, we actually are able to offload compute capability and compute requirements to the edge of the network. It makes the device cheaper and it makes it easier for a subscriber to access this game's market. Quality of service, well, 5G is built around a QoS model which sees all manner of different traffic types being afforded all manner of different quality of service levels in the network. We could have a specific QoS profile just for gamers, and these gamers may pay extra money to benefit from this QoS profile. And then finally, we've got platform flexibility. We don't necessarily need to own a console or a tablet. Our smartphone is the device, and we don't necessarily even need a particularly powerful smartphone because, as mentioned, with multi-access edge compute, we can offload a lot of compute requirements to the network. How might that actually work? Well, at a really high level, we've got a mech-associated cloud gaming service. So when we switch on our device and we initiate a game of some description, our device is not going to be conducting the processing. We need to be put in touch with local processing resources or local multi-access edge compute resources. It's going to be those mech resources that provide the compute capability and streaming back to the device will be a video stream, which is the result of any actions that we might be taking within the game itself. So when we start the game, we need 5G connectivity so that we can communicate with mech service orchestration. We need to indicate that we've got a subscriber in this location and they require local mech instances to be created. So the mech orchestrator will be communicating with an appropriate localized mech platform, at which point a mech application for our game with the resources that we need can be created. So we're going to reserve compute resources. The end result is that our device gets localized access to those compute resources, exchanging in one direction player control data, and as a result of the processing, getting the rendered graphics delivered in a video stream. So the future of gaming is very interesting when we start incorporating 5G into the mix. We can offer a whole host of different attributes to our end gamers who will find it very, very attractive. The more people we can get involved in gaming, the more lucrative the industry becomes. And 5G mobile service providers can potentially take a slice of that revenue.